Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dark and Metal video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the strength Super Saiyan Gohan Teen and seeing just how good he is in Dark and Metal at 55% in the hidden potential system. So Gohan is a 200% Kamehameha lead and this is a pretty decent category. It did need an alternative lead though so that's fine. He greatly raises attack and raises defense one turn, whilst also having a high chance of stunning the enemy. And on his 18 key, he greatly raises attack and raises defense one turn, and causes mega class damage while also raising super class allies defense by 50% for one turn. Now Gohan's passive is pretty interesting, but it's the integration of his standby skill that makes him a really interesting unit, and a very top tier unit. He has 200% attack and defense and he gets an additional key attack and defense per attack that he does up to 200%. In terms of how his attack stat works, he gains 77% attack with each attack performed within a turn, which is very, very, very interesting. He then launches an additional super attack, so there's a great chance of coming a super attack when key is 18 or more. When key is 24, he gets an additional attack and also has another super attack. He also gains more in terms of key so the more key you have the better gohan's going to be the more attacks he does the higher his attack stats will be and this is a kind of unit that if you get the right number of additionals and if you build correctly into his passive he can basically do higher attack stats on his secondary attacks than he can do on his main which is very very impressive in terms of link set a very standard very good link set you know, Super Saiyan, the usual, prepared for battle, Golden Warrior, etc. And in terms of categories, he's got a lot. The interesting addition of Margin Buu Saga, also very cool. He also has God, that's conditional, based on having a Kamehameha or Earth Red Vices category unit on the team with him. This is interesting. I think a lot of people got a bit upset about this, but I don't actually think it's that big a deal. Because you're going to want to run him with an Earth Red Vices or a Kamehameha. Remember, Earth Red Vices includes every single Gohan in the game. So you can link him with every single Gohan in the game, basically. In terms of everything else, I think he looks really, really good. The big thing with his standby skill, it can be activated, obviously, depending on your health requirements. Uh, or it can just be activated from the third turn. The big thing with it, though, is the 77% damage reduction. You have to have all superclass allies in your turn to have that be present. So that's something that is important because it's one of those things whereby, you know, as like a unit, it's very important that Gohan has those mechanisms. Otherwise, he's going to end up in a situation where essentially he's, you know, not going to have his damage reduction in his standby. How his standby works is also very interesting. It's got the new Dragon Ball mechanic. So when you activate it, it will spawn Dragon Balls. And the attack will change based on whether you hit not only the charge requirement, but also the Dragon Ball requirement. You have to hit 35 key, uh, as well as also uh, get all 7 Dragon Balls to have the full, really awesome family come at my heart. But yeah, I would honestly say overall that Gohan and the gang, uh, yeah, like uh, overall, I think Gohan looks great. Um, yeah, first start unit, interesting. Um, I don't know if he's a first start unit. Yeah, if you really look at everything, um, a Rainbow Gohan, 100% the possibilities there. Uh, Rainbow Gohan can have, you know, nigh up to close to almost a million start of turn defense with God active. Uh, yeah, he's got his evasion, and the great thing about the evasion, you have seen earlier, the evasion can kick in uh, midway through the turn. So the evasion can also proc below a certain health percentage, which is really solid. So Gohan is very solid defensively. Um, he's maybe not the best defensive unit in the game, but by no means is he a defensive slouch. I actually don't have any issues with how his defense works. Star turn defense can get very high. Guard is conditional, but can be easily activated. And, you know, after super, this guy has a crazy amount of defense. Because remember, he's getting defense on every super attack raise. He's raising his defense, you know, two, three, four times a turn. He's also getting from his passive as well. Um, so I don't really have any issues with his defense. Remember this is a 55% Gohan, no equips, no link leveling, no nothing. All in the family is a big deal for Gohan though. 
so if you're looking to really get the best out of them you are going to have to consider all in the family so it is just one of those things all in the family is a very crucial link uh, towards gohan's defensive security doesn't it's not necessary but it definitely makes a big difference in terms of how he performs defensively but at the same time i don't think he needs it to be a good performer defensively in terms of everything else uh attack set wise gohan's great uh i think his attack is definitely his best fact about him not that he's bad in any way but this attack you know these three four super attacks of 20 million is very impressive i mean people here nowadays 20 million it's like oh well i saw burley do 50 million but the thing is gohan's consistently doing 20 18 19 20 three or four of them you can very easily build him into crit additional you know, give him like that very good foundation for damage dealing he's got his standby skill which does huge damage as well which we're about to see uh and just in general it's just a great unit like really i mean a rainbow gohan and link levels and everything like that can very easily shuck out three or four 30 40 million attack stats and the way it works is he can very easily crit on all of those his standby skill also does immense damage i think and people will correct me and that's fine but i think his standby skill is the highest damage dealing ability in the game um i believe so it is very 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 good so you got like a lot of really good stuff and i mean like i for me i think gohan's great i think his anime i think he's awesome his animations are sick he is sick it's just crazy like it's just insane you know this you this unit's so cool i think they really took and it's weird because like barely second coming is not like the craziest movie i mean it's got some cool fight scenes with the lava and you know gohan but i mean it's not like it's the most insane thing in the world but like gohan's just nuts and the standby skill is great. I mean, like, you can have really solid defensive security for, like, a long time. And then Gohan can just obliterate someone. Like, you can just activate it. You can see here the most epic animations, by the way, which is awesome. So you just, yeah, you just have, like, this huge, big, beefy attack stat. Uh, can do big damage. I mean, you can eliminate characters, like, with crits and stuff like this will straight up eliminate characters not to mention it also massively raises his attack so afterwards he is absolutely slaughtering people with how crazy his attack stats get um i mean he's very impressive you know, for me a very impressive unit um and i gotta be honest i, I really think uh, for me at least based on what i'm seeing at 55 percent i i don't know i think he's the best unit in the game I just really like what he's about. I like how he works. I like the standby skill. Yeah, I think everything works out really well for this unit. Um, but then again, I don't have Beast Gohan, so maybe I'm just biased. But yeah, a really good unit. Super Saiyan, Golden Warrior. Uh, the Link set's easy to kind of make do with. Any Super Saiyan Goku, Super Saiyan Gohan, even Super Saiyan Trunks is Vegeta's hell, even Super Saiyan Broly can link decently with this guy. He's just got that Super Saiyan, Hybrid Saiyan, Pure Saiyan-esque Ling set that, you know, generally speaking, gives you a good foundation. Ling Living this guy will predominantly give you attack links, but obviously All in the Family does go up a little bit in terms of defense, and that could be useful uh, to a lot of players. So, if you're someone that's that way inclined, if you're really looking to try and maximize your defensive output, then yeah, Gohan's definitely, you know, up there and everything. But for me, honestly... Uh, this guy is awesome. I think he looks great. And, you know, for me, definitely, I think you should just do whatever you can to boost his power. I think you can have some really fun scenarios. I think Earthbred Fighters. Uh, I think Saga from the Movies, Super Saiyans, Hybrid Saiyans. I mean, there's not a team this guy doesn't benefit because his condition is not that hard to trigger. So, for me, you know, there's no debate that he that guard and everything is not that hard to trigger so for me he's very very good um and yeah i'm very impressed with him at 55 percent uh, we'll take a look at burly uh, but definitely i think gohan really feels good really feels good at that 55 percent mark uh rambo gohan must be crazy but yeah 
that's it for me see you guys in the next one so then bye